And fish on, people, fish on. Not a big one. He could be pan sized. He could be on a beach holiday to end all beach holidays. Got a very, very light lead on there. Sidewinder lure, what else? And that is the colour lure. Blue weedless sidewinder and a pollock there. What do you think, Mike? Tea time? Yeah, that's all I did a plate that one. That's frying tonight. Well, this afternoon actually. In the frying pan, I'll reset that and drop down again. That's just the right size. Dispatch it, bang it on the head just there, and job done, ready for the frying pan. But of course, are we giving up fishing yet? The answer to that is no. Unfortunately, it's not shallow. Oh no, snagged. And this is what the snags turned into. That was a f barely a turn on the reel. Barely a turn. Yeah, well on that blue lure. Well, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Oh, take your line. Just get that set properly. Oh dear, don't get back in the kelp. Oh, he's, oh he almost had to He's nearly got me in. Where is he? There. Wow, he's going nuts. Another nice fish. I'm coming off the white. I'm Man alive, he has sucked that sidewinder so far down. He needs to go to A&E. All over me. Is that not a beautiful sight, guys? A predatory pollock lure down the hatch. He has absolutely eaten it. I don't know if I'm going to get that out or we're going to have two fish frying tonight. Yeah. So what you got on there? So I was on the white here, all sidewinders, but I was on the, this white one here. Sure. Can't remember what it was called. But you caught two, and I was in the exact same spot as you. Yeah. Again, on this is a sidewinder, isn't it? That's weedless sidewinder. Yeah, weedless. So I've gone bigger. Yeah. I've gone for a, one of the rattle bats, which has that bead in it that's luminous. Sure. And rattles. You probably can't hear it. Purely because your blue's catching, my white wasn't catching. If I catch on this, it's as close as I could get to yours. It's slightly bigger. I'm going to have to crank a bit faster. Yeah. You know, but, what, you, you know what you can say to that one? What? Goodbye. Bye bye. No. He's going in the kelp. He is. Yeah. He's we not we Actually, he's not weedless. He's not a weedless, is he? That's why I've got Maybe weedless. I will go weedless. Well, those fish we had, we'll go out for another drift. He's looking through my tackle box. There's not a lot in there. Out. What about this thing? Oh no, you just had white, haven't I you? Have white. That is the size I'm using. Although that's that's a smaller, that's a small size. Yeah. You had a small one on. I'm slightly heavier. That size. Yeah. I feel a big one coming. But the wind and the tide are together, so the wind's coming this way, the tide's still flooding in, so we're absolutely flying. And we take out what we call transits and marks on the land, and I've got, as a red boy up there, you might see that white boat. Um, I started on the beach in there, lining the boy up with the beach, and we finished way down past that rock or reef there. So we've covered a lot of ground. For that reason I'm only going to do a retrieve about 10 or 12 turns, which is the hot spot of the Pollock area, and then I'm dropping it back down again. I'm not going to go up and down through a big volume of area, you know, top to bottom. I'm just going the bottom third, I would say. That would be about what I would consider to be prime Pollock territory. You just got to be aware, as soon as the lead hits the bottom, few turns on the reel to get the lead off the bottom and don't forget sidewinders got weights in them as well so they're going to sink as soon as the lead hits they're going to start sinking in the snags as well which is why we're using weedless bumps that's where I had to go straight back down because because you fly off the reef otherwise with this speed We noted where we actually had the takes there was a big woodland over there and when it crosses the rock over there was where we seemed to hit the fish. That's a better fish, that's, that's a, a better one, fish. I'm gonna pump this puppy up faster. And that is just off the line of where that woodland went through the uh, mark we said, wasn't it Mike? It was yeah. pretty, pretty close. 
Nice one. I can see him in the water there. And the water's clearer today too. Ah, that's a bigger fish. Oh, that's, that's a nice, nice fish. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good fish. That's blue again. Your boom yeah. tangled. Though. Slight tangle on the boom there, guys. This is <laughs> this is not the totally awesome rig here, but the most important bit is here. He's absolutely hanging there, but that is a nice pollock. There we go. The most important thing is he, he's taken that lure. Let's let him get his flapping out the way. Lovely looking fish that one. Put him up against the blue sky there, look. Small boat fishing, brilliant. And we've got our fish down on the deck there. We've got two, four catch and cook. We're going to fill it on the beach. Let's get this guy back. Fish on, Whoa. crash diver. Keep him out that kelp, keep him out the kelp. Keep him out the kelp. Oh dear, oh dear. He's going to make it. I think I've got him out. I think he's clear. It's definitely over that, the wood over that I think island. Well, put a heavy lead on for the next drift. Yeah. Catch and cook, my god, we can fill a restaurant. That's good fish, you know. Good fish. Well, that's a bit more like it. That's a chunky. That is a chunky chappy. That's a lovely fish. That is a big golden pollock. Okay. Hopefully you guys can see that lure in his mouth and the size of the fish is enormous. If I can get him out for you, I will in one piece. I've got him. Hold still, buddy. Oh, what a beaut. A pollock and a half, guys. Look at that predatory mouth. Bottom jaw sticks right out. Beautiful golden colours on it. Back you go. On again, guys. Probably make this the last fish, and we're going to go in and uh, have a cook up of our catch. We've had a really good little trip here. I suppose we've had about 10. Pollock now. This is a nice fish. Wow, he's pulling away, he's pulling away, he's pulling away. The wind's getting up, we're actually drifting pretty fast. You might not hear it in the mic, but it is windy. That's another nice fish. Wowee. A lot of fish here, but it does seem as though blue is the colour. Look at that. Absolutely nailed it. Pristine condition. Uh, he's hooked just where? Just in the top jaw, and away he goes. Meanwhile, we're off to find a secret beach and cook our fish up. Bye! Guys, get yourself some oil. When you're cooking, just take a little bit. Look, we just got this in a big bottle. You could get a small bottle and take, don't want that blowing over, take a tiny little bit, almost the top of this cap. 
will be enough cooking oil just to get you out of trouble and it doesn't take much to carry either. It makes cooking so much easier. And that's got hot in 30 seconds, I would say. I'm not going to take the skin off the pollock, I'll just cook it with the skin and then you can eat the meat off of the skin. I should probably, ouch, that was hot. That tells me when it spits. Look at that fillet, guys. Look at that fillet. Yeah, that tells me. When, you, when it starts to pop and crackle, that is done. Woo -hoo -hoo. Ready for cooking. Put a little bit of oil on the, on the meat side, and I'm going to cook the skin side first. That is two big chunks of pollock there. This guy's in case of any people out there, is a folding firebox that Mike's got. I guess it's something like stainless, is it right? Is it stainless? Stainless, yeah. Stainless. It, Mike's used it several times. It's so efficient, even I'm impressed with it. It's small, it's safe, it's got its own ash catching tray at the bottom. You can find your own wood on the beach if you want, or you can take a bit of kindling wood, a bit of paper to start it. It's light so easily, it's unbelievable. Very, very handy piece of kit, this. Look. I'm not out on the beach eating fish all the time, but you could take a propane gas one, same thing. I think this is better, I really do. I think it cooks the food better. You can, look, you can't say it's not hot, look at it, it's sizzling. You wouldn't get that cooking, um, sizzling effect if you didn't have that cooking oil, guys. Stops it sticking to the pan as well. Also try and get it as level as you can. We're slightly crooked here. Once it's hot, I'm not moving it, am I? So try and get it level the first time round. We use the uh, self-drive boat, one of Mark Gannon's boats, to uh, come into this bay. In fact, people wanted to know, I was actually fishing over there on the jetty when I had horrendous storms here last year, making a film and we called it, I think it was a, was it fishing in a car in a storm or something like that? It was horrendous after driving, what, 60 miles all around the uh, peninsulas looking for somewhere to try and at least keep a bait in the water, this was the only tiny bay that I could find. I fished off the rocks over there, and off the slope there there's a launch uh, slip for your boat, I guess probably only a high water to mid water one looking at it, but great little spot, hardly anybody here, just a few holiday makers. Do you know what, I think they're all locals, I don't even think they're tourists. It's just an exclusive secret spot for people that want to cook fish. So I've always messed around with boats and I've always been trying to make a bit of awareness with tides. The tides come up, it's going out. This place will dry almost completely back here. So don't just drag the boat up, go and grab a few beers and sit down, chill out, have a doze in the sun, cook your food, because you'll look and the boat will be dry or B, you won't be able to get to it. Work the tides out and anchor it bow and aft. That's front and back. You need to really anchor the back first. Slack off the rope as you bring it forwards. Put an anchor in the sand, tie that over the bow, and you can adjust it up and down on a slope there. And that, you know, at least you can get to, of course, eventually you'll have to keep moving it back. But at least this way, you should be able to see it. I can see from 50, 60 yards away, I'm not dry yet, it's rising and falling. The boat is floating. And that's what you want because there's no way two people are going to push that dry it's just too hard just going to turn this over guys they always say just turn fish once and do not poke it and prod it like i always do that cooking oil makes such a difference i'm looking about three minutes more and that's going to be ready obviously you keep your fire going but that's throwing off a lot of heat there anyway. Get a bit more going in there. Well, that's just starting to go white around the edges and gold there. You can see that just there. Plenty of heat left in the fire. We'll let that burn out before we move it. But that is actually finished. And I think we'll just turn that over, hopefully without. Oh man, beautiful. If you cook it too long, fish, it will dry out. I'll just show you, that is absolutely flaky, look. I'll just break it up so you can see, look at that, beautiful white meat. 
nothing on it at all, nothing. That's just the fish as straight out of the sea as you are ever gonna, gonna get it. And that really is the only way to cook. I'm just breaking those flakes up because we've forgotten the knife and fork. Job done, time to enjoy. Well fish, just as a tip, always goes cold pretty quickly. But I'm not having not bought any plates, we just come straight off the boat from fishing. I'm not about to uh, dive straight in the frying pan, but now I've let it cool off, I'm ready to attack it. Maybe the drier meat of the product, a squeeze of lemon or lemon juice and a little, you know, one of those squeezy things would be good. Mm. Anybody surviving would survive on this very well indeed. Want to try some out? Yeah, oh definitely, I'd love to. See if it's as good as you say it is, Dad. Mmm. Mmm, that is nice. Maybe a bit of lemon or pepper yeah, or something like that. a little bit something citrus. A bit of seasoning. Mm. Nice big flaky meat. Yeah. Oh, it's nice. It's lovely and soft. Lovely and soft. 